I thought, oh, my cheek hurts, but I gave her a bloody <laughs> nail. Hi everyone, it's me, Chloe, and my friend Jenny. And you never have I ever challenged before, so like, like I said before, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you're going to try it. And without any further ado, let's just go. Um, never have I ever um, called in sick to work because I was hungover. And I haven't. I have not. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> I, I have not. Only because, I, I'll tell you this now, I almost did once. once. Basically, <laughs> but I didn't, didn't really, yeah, so I'll just do it, but I was so close to doing it. I will say, it's, it's crossed my mind. I've never done it, but before I've been like, do you really want to go to work today? I could just ring in and say I'm ill, because they're not going to know, but then I always feel really bad, so they're sort of like, no, but what if they can't find someone to cover, so I need to go in. Yeah. Never have I ever had a near-death experience that you almost died, like... <gasps> no, I have, I have, when I was younger. I have. I don't know if you count it, but I'm going to say I have. Okay. I I almost got run over by a car when I was younger. I was in a parking lot. It was like a supermarket or something. Yeah. And I, oh, I went to get a ticket or something for the car. I don't know. I was, I was walking along and I was walking back to the car and the car that was there reversed out like <laughs> like like that in front of me and I, I sort of fell over because I had to go back because I went, whoa, and fell over. <laughs> so I don't really know if that would count because I didn't get run over, but... If I was a bit yeah. further forward, I could have done. Like seven, and um, my whole family went to Torquay to stay a night, and we were walking back along the um, seafront, and there was this woman, like this granny, like she must have been, I don't know, 70 or something. <laughs> yeah. She was like speeding through, like she literally went right through the traffic lights. They actually went red, and she was like thinking, oh, I'll go, even though she could have stopped. And she went right through me, and we were all walking, everyone was talking. And I decided to step out, Thinking, like, let's go. Well, you think they're the going to stop? Red, red, so we can go. And then everyone's like, Chloe, no! <laughs> so, like, we crossed over, and the women were just, like, parked, like, kind of parked over on the side of the pavement, and, and my uncle and my dad just shouting out again, you idiot. Never have I ever considered moving because of the election. <laughs> I have not. I have not either, like, no. I like my house, and... I don't know, I, I wouldn't move, but I don't like the elections, so I just... <laughs> I don't like the idea of voting, like, because I, I get, like, scared of who you should vote for, because I just don't know, I don't watch the news enough, so I'm like, um... I go, about who are you voting for? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm voting for such and such, yeah, yeah, I like them as well. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't leave where I live because of some sort of voting. Yeah, I don't think it would really affect... No. I don't think it affects you that much. Okay, never have I ever talked to myself out loud in public. Um, I have. I talk to myself all the time. I'm at I do, I do it at home if I'm by myself. Or I'm at work and I'll be just like, oh, just got to get that. That's it. Why are you going so slow? And people sort of look at me like, sorry, are you, are you talking to me? And I'm like, no, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> I actually have actually learned to drive. And if I'm going really slow, like if I'm drunk, I'm like, go, 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 go. And I can't answer to myself. And that's probably the only time I think I realise that I'm thinking out loud to myself. But it's like... Not in an embarrassing way though. No. Like, I think it's most basically more embarrassing, but I'm not embarrassed to say that because that's kind of getting motivated to do it. It sounds I think, good, I think more people, people talk to themselves out loud all the time and just like some, so half of us admit it and half of us don't. I think it's something everyone does, but some people are like, no, I don't do that. When they see, they do, if they're by themselves, they will. Even if it's something like, oh, I've got to hurry up with that. You're still talking to yourself. Yeah. Never have I ever farted in public smelt it and enjoyed it <laughs> i have not you go and then you think oh my god and then when someone else smells it they go like oh what's that smell and you sort of join in oh yeah no i don't know what that is oh god it's probably that person you just pick the nearest person who yeah. looks like they might have done it and sort of go oh, it's probably them over there oh god yeah that's disgusting <laughs> <laughs> no i haven't done that um, never have i ever peed myself in public i have not <laughs> have not not yet touch wood i won't <laughs> never have i ever re gifted gift that was given to me i have <laughs> i actually have I, i'm i regret it but i actually have not to the same person that gave it to me yeah but, no you don't do that you, you um, gotta remember who gave it to you so you don't give it back to them. <laughs> at christmas you know like aunts and uncles and and people like that they all buy yeah. you like a bath set i usually always get bath sets which you use but you don't need like six yeah. So when it's someone's birthday, everyone's like, oh, I don't know what to get. And I'm like, 
here, have a bath set. It's not open. Yeah. <laughs> and it's right, because they've not given me, they gave me like the black one there. So you can give them the pink one. <laughs> there you go. It's a different one. And because I don't use them. Yeah. Like that. You know, you don't need like seven of the same thing. So I just re gift them to people. Because yeah, I think I've done it before. Someone's given me like, I don't know, a Justin Bieber annual time. But I've only got that Justin Bieber because I bought it like two yeah. years before. I didn't say, oh, someone might give me it for Christmas. So I've had to almost re do that on purpose and re-gift it to someone else that I thought they yeah. might like it. Never have I ever been slapped across the face. I have. <laughs> I've got a great story to go with that. I have as well. <laughs> but you first. I was stood outside by my gate out the front of my house. This girl I didn't know came up to me. I was about 12 or so. She slapped me like proper whoosh, across the face for no reason. Yeah. So I punched her in the face. <laughs> And I got her in the face and I made a nosebleed. <laughs> and she ran up the road to where she was staying with like her aunt or uncle or someone. And, and she ran home crying. And I thought, oh, my cheek hurts. But I gave her a bloody nose. <laughs> and she just slapped me like on purpose, like really hard. Just yeah. for like, 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 again, for the sake of it. But he knew that it would kind of get me. So I was like, oh, like what the hell? That really hurt. And I'll try and... I tried to slap him back, but you know, boys always too <laughs> it fast. To me. <laughs> so that was the Never Have I Ever challenge. I hope you enjoyed that. That was actually tougher than I thought it was going to be because I was like, oh, this, this might be easier. Pick out the easier questions, and I uh, obviously didn't. So, <laughs> and thumbs up if you really enjoyed it. And comment down below if you're going to try these questions out. And what was the most cringiest question that you've answered in your Never Have I Ever? And also, make sure you go and check uh, Jane's channel out, which I will have in the link below. And I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.